what are examples of diversity and inclusivity in the profession? One, to make sure that more people from underrepresented groups can become archivists. Second, to empower archivists in general. Our work leads to policy and to the writing of history. We need to make sure that governments and academia value our work. We also need to create projects and programs that include and highlight hidden histories. At the University of Florida, my colleague John Emmers, student assistant Celeste Velasco, and I are conducting the project Documenting History, Farm Workers in Florida During COVID-19. The purpose of this project is to create an archive of snapshots of relevant digital content that capture the impact that COVID-19 is having on farm workers in Florida. It is important to save this content because although considered ephemeral, it captures the voices, experiences, and opinions of people who are frequently marginalized and underrepresented, such as that of the Mexican, Central American, and Haitian farm workers who live and work in Florida. The project will document the challenges that COVID-19 has presented them, as well as the innovative ways in which they adapt and survive. In the current environment, the mission of challenging and correcting the misrepresentation of immigrants is crucial.